Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 602 and 603. Um, we have Caesar Clown putting on a show. He's putting on a show to show his weapon of mass destruction, as he calls it. Um, smiley. I don't know what's about to happen. Obviously, he's gave it this candy. So I'm guessing we're about to see the display that he wants to show these uh, under, uh, underworld brokers, which include Big Mom's crew, Kid, and I think Hawkins. It's someone that looked like Hawkins, but they didn't actually show Hawkins' face. They just showed that it, it very much, I, I, I'm 90% sure it was him, right? But, uh, yeah, so he wants to show this off. We know now that he is working for Doflamingo, who is going by the alias Joker, uh, and Law has a history there, which dates back a few years, so... Very curious how this is going to play out, right? Obviously, I, we, I need uh, Luffy and the squad to get out of this cage and humble this Caesar. Uh... You know, and especially we saw what he's been, he's got the kids back, you know, and uh, oh, the little girl, I can't remember her name, but she kind of snapped out of it once they got back to the, back to the lab. So I'm hoping that these kids, can, Chopper's working on a way to kind of help the kids to get break free from this uh, drug. So, oh, God, I just want a, a happy ending there. Uh, but... Yeah, guys, that's where we are. Luffy, Luffy, Smoker, Toshigi, Law, Robin, and Frankie still in the cage watching all this go down. Um, Zoro, Sanji, and Nami's body, Brooke, and Kinemon are running away from Smiley. Uh, and Nami and Sanji's body, Usopp, um, and Brownbeard's there as well. They are kind of lying there after being defeated by Caesar, basically. And uh, Chopper, like I said, is still undetected in the lab, trying to find out what's happening and uh, get... Hopefully maybe Chopper can get, get Luffy and them out of there. He's doing a good job of sneaking by them so far, uh, even though his hiding is terrible. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's where we are. Let's get into it. What I'm hoping for the most is to see some Doflamingo. I want to see what he's up to at this moment. I know he's not here, but give me something from Doflamingo, please. Oh man, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for him to be the villain for so long. And just, get, just give me it. Just give me some of it, right? So here we go, guys. Let's do this. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you, guys. So, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 602. Let's go. Be reborn. Okay, what's about to happen here? Let's see it. Oh yeah, what are the apples for? It seems oddly, like, why have a sack of apples there? It must, there must be for a purpose. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I wonder, like, how, because, like, obviously four years ago, it was, a, it was kind of, it looked like an explosion. So... Is it going to be similar, or...? Right. See you again. Why is... Oh. Oh, okay. What's happening with the apples? Wait a minute. 
So was that the devil fruit that Smiley had? So he's dead. I know that we, we spoke about it that, oh man, that's crazy. So, like devil fruits reappear in the world after the user dies, but, oh, okay, that's crazy. I didn't know that they right away took the form of an existing like, fruit, like an apple. Oh, that's, that's actually insane and it's instantaneous. Okay, game changer. Yeah, what is this doing? What? Oh crap. Oh man, it looks like a uh, wax. It looks like Mr. Freeze uh, ability, but what is it? Yeah, and what the oh, this is this is what he wants the underworld brokers to see is this. Oh yeah. That's what he was sad about in the last one, is the fact that there were survivors. Right. Yeah, if you can't yeah, okay. Yeah, if you're petrified. If you can't if you can't move, you can't escape. Oh crap, I keep forgetting that Zoro's squad is there as well. Guys, get moving. Get moving. Yeah. How f like, how far away is Zoro's crew here? Like, are they running like hell, I'm guessing? Oh, the G5 guys. Oh, they're still, oh, okay, they're still in front of the door, but they're watching what's happening. Where is... Oh, has he seen it coming? Yeah, it's behind you. Yeah, guys, I would I would get moving as well. Because knowing Caesar, this thing's probably going to cover the island. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's true, yeah. The only way they're going to escape it is getting inside. Because if it is going to cover the island, where are they going to run to? Yeah. Yeah, help Brownbeard out. I, I actually feel really sorry for him. And he's going to be devastated when he finds out what's happened to his people as well. Yeah, he did help us. That's Nami. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sa Sanji being here would have been very, very helpful. Yeah, he could have just kicked that off. Mm hmm. Trying to help you out. Are they moving it? Okay. Who's up in Nami? Good. Yeah. And now we've got an ally that can that knows the island that can help us out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Let's go and save them. Help us out. But Oh no, is that approaching them as well? Oh guys. Oh no, please get away from it. <laughs> there they are, okay. Yeah, guys move, you need to get moving. Oh man. You see, look how close it is, like, even if the lab opens, like, how are we gonna get in? <sighs> Where's the sunny? We're getting that submarine, but you don't even have time to do that. Oh, the dragon from before, right? Okay. Oh yeah, if we get on that thing, it can fly. But if it can fly, why is it running? 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Zoro, but why isn't it flying away? Oh, they're watching this on the screen. Oh. What do you want them to do, Frankie? I love how chilled the crew are. Like, just, especially Robin. Yeah, Robin just... <laughs> the thing she focuses on. Oh, yeah, the sea prism. I was like, why is he... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they said that they were going to transport them. Okay. Okay, so they're basically just kicking them out of the lab to get to get done in by the same thing. Oh no, he's going to broadcast. Okay. No, we can't. We cannot let these underworld brokers think that this. Scumbag has got the better of us. Oh, Chopper. Yeah, he's watching this. Uh, yeah, what should you do, Chopper? This, this, this is a tough spot to be in. Because you don't stand a chance against these people. Yeah, we have that. Oh, tough spot to be in for Chopper. Yeah, tr oh. Who threw that? Yeah, what does it say? Don't do anything. That must have been Law. That must have been Law. I'm guessing Law has a plan. I don't think there's anybody on... Because all that's there from Caesar's side is Caesar, Virgo and Monet. Guys, can you not see that they're in a cage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these two are just like. Yeah. In fact, Luffy too, like all of them. Yeah. What, what's going on? Right? Okay. Okay, well, he definitely was the one that uh, sent that note to Chopper. Okay, it seems like Law has this under control. And I love, like, the thing is, we didn't get to see the full extent of the plan that they were talking about. You know, we didn't even get to see the initial bit of, like, when Luffy first met Law about who, like, they were going to go after, what emperor they were going to go after. So, did the law take all of this into account? Um, interesting, interesting. I, I'm looking forward to seeing the counter-attack. But, what really, like this episode was all obviously uh, about the display of this weapon, right? But what was, was really intriguing to me was the, the devil fruit. The fact that the devil fruit was... Like, I was wondering when it was first showed, it was like, why are there apples being... A sack of apples being placed in the sled? Like, what's that for? So it was for... Like, it must have been for the purpose of when um, Smiley died that one of those apples would take on the devil fruit. I knew that you guys were saying to me, obviously, that the devil fruits come back into the world after someone dies. But I didn't think it would be so instantaneous. And is it because, like, it must be, they've obviously took the sack of, a, the sack of uh, apples there because it obviously must just go into a fruit. And it can be any fruit, you know? Because it's not just the shape of, like, an apple that we've seen. We've seen ones that, I think it was, um, what was the one that looked like, like, that looked like a banana? It was definitely one I remember seeing someone eat. Was it Annie's lobby? I think it was Annie's lobby. 
It was either Kaku or uh, Califa's devil fruit. The, the ones that Spandam gave them. There was definitely one of them that looked like a banana. Um, so it could be any fruit. It could be any fruit that it, it just it takes on the form. Which is interesting. Um, and But the thing is, it must be... Like I don't think that I don't think they know what fruit it's going to appear in. I think maybe that's why they've left a sack of apples in instead of just one of them, in the hopes that it's going to appear in one of those. And probably because, like, so what's the range? What's the range? That's the question. You know, because technically. If you so like that that way you can kind of you know <laughs> if you killed someone with a devil fruit and you have a sack of fruit near you could essentially be getting that person's devil fruit. Hmm. Hmm. But again, what's the range? Is it just because, like? There's no other fruit on this island. You know? Because if there were like fruits that were growing, like trees or things going up, uh, elsewhere, then maybe it would go to one of them. But because this the, all the life on this island has been wiped out and there's no fruit in, in the foreseeable uh, distance, it had to go into one of those apples. There's questions there. There's loads of questions about that, right? And then what happens? So is it basically just kind of, it'll go to like the nearest one or is it? So what happens if it's like a an island where no one's brought a sack of apples? Like say that this island had no life on it whatsoever. No one had those apples. Would it just go to, would it have to go to a greater distance to... Going to another fruit? Oh man, there's so many questions here. So many questions about how this works. Oh, okay. That is actually scary when you think about it. You know? Because... Well, saying that, I've, do you know what? I, I don't think it... I, I think it's very unique to this island. I think if, if someone with a devil fruit dies in most other places, it's very hard to determine where it's going to pop up. I think it's just specifically here because it is a barren wasteland. This island isn't supposed to be here. And there's nothing in the... In the vicinity. I think that's the only reason why it's so locked on to this. Because my, my worry was like, well, these like bad people could just go around killing a uh, oh wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Marine Ford. Is that what Blackbeard didn't want us to see? He threw the sheet over Whitebeard when he died. And then he came out, he had Whitebeard's devil fruit. So did he have a fruit on him at the time? Like, did Blackbeard have fruits there? And he's been under the sheet. The fruits went into one of the... Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. That's interesting. That is interesting. Oh, right, okay. Right. Right, let's, let's forget about that just now, right? I'm sure that Oda's going to probably explain more as we progress, right? But it just, it's given me a lot to think about in terms of that, right? 
So guys, let's get into the next one. Let's see what's going to happen now. Um, obviously, it looks like we have a plan here. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. One Piece episode 603. Let's go. I don't like the fact that they're seeing us here as if we've been, we've been captured by Caesar. Yeah, because Big Mom's crew are out to get us because we declared war. Kid. Okay. Not the kind of guy who wants to play. Okay. So, Kid has no interest in these... Killer. Yeah, they have no interest in this weapon. I like that, though. <laughs> yeah. Kid's just interested to see Luffy's back. Yeah, so he... Okay, I love that there. He doesn't... Like, Kid doesn't believe they've been captured. Where are they? A poo? Whoa, oh, wait a minute. I was... I was wrong then. That guy wasn't Hawkins. Oh, crap. Okay. What's going on here? 350 million. Okay. 320 million. Okay. Oh. So, are they forming an alliance as well? Are they going to be uh, Luffy and Law up against these three? Well, I love that Killer, uh, that Killer is the one trying to keep the peace. Okay. Let's, oh man, let's see this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, seeing that, that's what got him and Robin free from Eddie's lobby. So it did come in handy at one point. Hmm? Okay. Right. So what's Law going to do? He can't use his devil for it, can he? He's got a sea prism on. But this is the problem as well, is the fact that these guys still have Law and Smoker's Hearts. Yeah, what's, what's the plans here, Law? Oh, that's why he just didn't want them to be seen by the the snails. Yeah, how did you get out of that, Law? Ordinary chain? Did they switch the chains? Oh, right, it's definitely been him that's gave that to Chopper. He's been setting this up. Yes. Oh. Law. Nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. Exactly, yeah. Smoker, throw your pride away. Oh, 
Yeah. Exactly. But hopefully if they can't see what's happening in the cage because of the smoke and they can't see that they've escaped, then they won't use their hearts. Okay. That seems reasonable. That seems okay. Come on, smoker. Mm-hmm. We're all on the same page now. Oh, no, Luffy, what are you doing? Here we go. You can't, you can't keep him down for too long. He's going to do what he wants. Oh, come on. Yeah, exactly, that's what he does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're used to it. I, lo I love the fact that all the crew now are just so used to Luffy's whims. They're just like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. I, I love Law. Like, <laughs> he just can't deal with this crew. He's so cool and composed at everything. And it, when he deals with these guys, he's just like, oh, I can't, I can't. Oh my God, Frankie. Yeah, go and get the Sunny. Yeah, that dragon is just getting so far ahead them. Oh, Brooke, pick him up. Yeah, it's Nami's body. Oh, God, Sanji. Oh, yeah, so that gives him energy. <laughs> Yeah. I I don't think it can fly, Zoro. I, like, if this thing could fly, it would have, fl it would have flew away by itself. Oh no, Brooke. Brown beard. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is just such a strange, strange turn of events here. Yeah. But how are we going to get in? We need, we need to meet up with Law and them. I think he's the only way we're getting inside. Okay, Law, what are we doing? Take care of it. Right, okay. We're inside. What's... I thought, no, I thought for sure Smoker and Toshigi would have told Law to save them. Oh, well, they don't even know that they're outside the cage yet. Is the door opening? So was that Smoker and Toshigi that's opened the door for them? Or is this a trap? No, they, yeah, they don't know what's happening. So it's definitely been our squad that's done that. Good. Who did it? Who opened it? Okay, right. So it was just our, it was just our team. I thought maybe Chopper had done it as well. Oh, man, this is this what I wanted to see Smoker on our side. Come on. How happy Luffy is. Nope, no chance. Let's do this. Yeah, close that door back up. Although, what's going to happen when the crew gets here? How are they going to get inside? Is that them? Okay. But we can't, if we cut, if we cut a hole in it, then the gas is going to get inside. Zoro, kind of on. Okay, so we're just going for it. I like that though. 
I like that, the combination of Kinemon and Zoro's attacks. That was awesome. That was awesome. Luffy's just happy to see them. Yeah. So, Law, can you seal this door back up? That would be great. Yeah. So that's everybody's bag together except Chopper, who's still sulking about. Frankie's away back to the sunny. Get get Nami and Sanji's body swap back as well, Law. Okay. This is exciting. Seeing them all in the lab. We're going to begin the counter attack here. And it's not just the fact that um I'm I'm so excited to see Luffy. Uh, Law and Smoke are all working together to take them down, but we've seen that an alliance is being formed with the other supernovas, Kid, Hawkins, and Apu. Okay? That's exciting. Although, I, uh, I, I, I want Kid to be... I, I, I love the kind of... I don't know how to describe it, like the... The atmosphere and the kind of thing around Kid, Law, and Luffy, and Sabodi, those three. I was like, right, there's, there's, I, I love these three together. But Kid does have that also, that kind of like antagonistic rough side to him. So I think we're going to have to go up against him at one point. It makes me sad. I, I was hoping he would be kind of like Law, and like those three would be like rivals pushing each other forward. Um, but it's interesting. I, but I, di I did like the fact that, like, the rest of them are watching, like, seeing Lo uh, Luffy and Law and Smoke and all them being captured, and they're like, oh, these big shots have been caught by Caesar. Like, this is interesting, blah, blah. Kid just walked away because he, he said, and all he was saying was, oh, they're already making moves. So I think he re he's thinking to himself, there's no way these two, that, that's not what's happening here. They've not been captured. They're not getting taken down. Something's going on there. I love that. I love the faith he has in his two rivals, right? So he's like, right, I need to start getting moving as well now. Love it. I love it. Because I think from that interaction he had with Luffy on Sabodi, where he's like, right, you are, you're the real deal. You know, you're the real deal. This is, this is us. We're, we're going against each other for the one piece. Love it. Right? So that's interesting. I wonder who that person was then that I thought was Hawkins. Hmm. Maybe just a random. Because there were a couple of people that were just like, there were silhouettes, so I thought, I don't think they're important characters. And then the ones like Big Mom's crew. And then I was like, okay, right. They're obviously, we're, we're getting into it here. But, oh. Oh. Right. God, I can't wait. I can't wait till we take down Caesar. I hate him. I hate him so much. He's just, like, he's giving me the same kind of feelings. What I like about it is, he's, like, spanned them. He, like, spanned them. And that's a great villain, right? It makes you despise them. But the thing that makes him different from spanned them is that he's an actual threat. He has a devil fruit power that's insane, right? Spanned them, there was never a concern in my mind that anybody was going to lose a fight to span them, Right? He had a sword that could, like an elephant sword. That was it. That was his arsenal, <laughs> right? So he, he made you despise him despite the fact that he was weak as hell, right? That was Spandam's strength. But with Caesar, he is just an irredeemable person. And we like it's going to be a, a challenge to go up against him because of the things that he can do. He can cut off your oxygen, right? That's insane ability to have but oh man i i always love when it shows you something else that's happening in the world as the events are going on so i love that i love seeing oh while this is all happening the other supernovas are having adventures of their own and things are going down um but oh right okay oh, i i hope that law can seal that door up because otherwise the gas is coming in. And we need, we'll need to worry about that. 
on top of everything else. I don't know if... Like, so... Are those people just dead? The ones that are petrified? Like, what happens there? Hmm. Okay. Right. Good stuff. I'm loving it. I, th this this arc has just been chaos. It's been chaos after, like, reveals, after, like, just unexpected turns. Like, when this arc started, I would never have thought this is where we'd be. Right? Um, a little bump. We had a little bump with the, with the Yeti Cool Brothers. <laughs> A little bump there, but otherwise we're back on track and we're, you know, all just full steam ahead going for it here. I love it. So, and the fact that Doflamingo is still hovering there. So now that we're free, hopefully we get an interaction where we find out more about Doflamingo and about Law's, uh, you know, past with Doflamingo. Um, and Virgo, because obviously Virgo seems to know him very well. Oh. And then and then maybe like an interaction between like Smoker and Tashigi and Virgo. Because he's basically, like, he's he's fooled them for these uh, few years. And he's fooled the entire Marines. He's worked his way up to become a Vice Admiral. So I think it's going to be a big shock to maybe uh, Marine HQ when they find out that he's been Doflamingo's uh, double agent this whole time. Uh, but yeah, guys, good stuff. Good, good stuff. I uh, can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Um, if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.